Good day, my name is Jim Kosas, and I am a proud director with the Penticton Secondary Schools Bursary and Scholarship Foundation. My goal in speaking with you today is to provide an overview of the foundation and to officially launch the Bursary and Scholarship Campaign for Penticton Grads of 2024. We are a dedicated group of volunteers who continue to support the goals of the foundation. The foundation's purpose is to collect, invest, and distribute funds to assist grads with their post-secondary education. A little bit of history about the foundation. 38 years ago, Penn High's Len Cox and Principal H.D. Pritchard had a vision to create a foundation that would create a lasting legacy. In the first year, in 1985, this new foundation awarded one bursary to one student at one school in the amount of $1,000. As of 2023, the foundation has awarded over $4.5 million to secondary school students in Penticton. Last year, more than $450,000 was awarded to grads at Penn High and Princess Margaret schools. So where does the money come from? It doesn't come from the school or school district. It is all donated money. Who donates it? Individuals, service clubs, businesses, church groups, professional associations, maybe even your neighbors. Sadly, some awards are classed as memorial gifts named for a family member or friend who is loved and lost by a donor. Keep this in mind if you receive a memorial gift. Why would people donate to students they don't even know? The donors recognize that education transforms lives. They value the power of education and they want to support their community and maybe even help someone along their life's journey and they want to pay it forward. You might want to do the same one day. Different types of awards include scholarships, bursaries, citizenship, and affiliation awards. Selection considerations for awards include marks, financial need, character, and specific criteria that may be set by the donor. Each school has its own selection committee, which consists of counselors, administrators, teachers, and foundation directors. The goal of the selection committee is to match applicants to appropriate awards. This involves several meetings and all of the information is completely confidential. Penticton Secondary School's chair person is J.C. Payette and she is supported by Viv Laskowski and Chris Araki. Princess Margaret's chair is myself, yours truly, Jim Kosis, supported by Dave Brunel. Now comes the important part, your responsibility. There are several important steps and time-sensitive deadlines which you must follow to be considered for these awards. As you can see on the two timelines, the dates are identical. The start date is March the 6th. The uh, completion date for applying is March the 13th. Students need to uh, complete a consent form and their online applications by the submission date of March the 13th. Afterwards, the selection committee will review the applications and make decisions regarding award recipients. Students will learn or receive their awards at their respective graduation ceremonies, Penn High's being on June the 7th and Princess Margaret's being on June the 21st. Soon after receiving your award, students are encouraged to write their thank you letters to donors and a copy to the foundation. Beginning October the 1st, students can submit their request for funds form to receive their money. That will be completed on the online form, which we will uh, talk about in a moment. But the timeline for completion of the form is October the 1st and ends at the end of January 2025. If you're having difficulties meeting the deadline, please contact your school chairperson. Completing the application has two parts. Part one 
is the paper consent form that needs to be completed and handed into your school office by March the 13th. Part two is the online application, which is also time sensitive and can be accessed through your school's grad website. This is also due on March the 13th. An example of the uh, consent form is, is here. And please, be, uh, please know that the due date is March the 13th. It's important that um, students um, complete this form uh, completely, accurately, and legibly, and submit to your school office by uh, the 13th. Uh, please be clear on the writing of your name, your email address, um, your telephone number, a cell number, which is usually what students uh, will, will provide, and your signature and parent guardian signatures of the declaration just to say that you consent to um, submitting the application. And um, it's very, very important that this be turned in and, and submitted. This, this has to be submitted in paper form and not electronic form. The next two slides provide an overview of the online application that can be accessed through your school's grad website. It also must be completed and submitted by March the 13th. The inf important information to note here is the uh, parent information. Uh, getting back to the previous slide, it's important that, uh, or, sorry, uh, the next slide, parent information, any financial circumstances or special circumstances that um, need to be um, adhered to. Section four, affiliations. It's important that students identify any affiliations they have through their parents or grandparents. This is important because certain awards um, are affiliation specific. So if you are a member of the Penticton Tennis Club or your parents are a member of the Penticton Tennis Club, you would, uh, you would qualify for an affiliation, uh, perhaps a, an affiliation award. It's also important to identify um, <coughs> student marks that you give consent to uh, having your marks reviewed and student activities that you've been involved with through your high school uh, career. So um, please take the time to complete the application. Uh, if you have any questions, you can certainly talk to your school counselor and uh, get some assistance in completing that. Very important uh, information about submitting the application. After the meeting today, you will be given the written consent form. Please complete and hand into your school office by March the 13th. Uh, no electronic or, or emails of the consent form, please. Complete the uh, and submit the online application form. It's time sensitive. It's also due on March the 13th through your school website grad section. If you have specific questions, um, Penticton, contact person would be uh, penhighchair at gmail.com. Princess Margaret, questions, maggiechair2024 at gmail.com. Again, please be mindful of the deadline date of March the 13th. At grad, if you receive an award or multiple awards, do not misplace the envelope. The envelopes will contain important information such as the award name, the amount, donor information, and instructions on how to claim your award. It will also give you instructions on writing a thank you letter, and there will be a link with examples on your school grad website. There are several steps involved in requesting your award funds. The award money will not be in the envelope you receive at grad. So what happens is when you receive your award at grad, it's important that you write your um, thank you letters to donors with a copy to the foundation chairperson as soon as possible. We encourage students to do that uh, after graduation. The deadline for completing that is August the 15th. If students do not submit a thank you letter, their funds will be withheld until such time as thank you letters have been sent. Beginning October the 1st, 
Students can submit completed request for funds forms from the foundation website at penticktonscholarships.com with an official list of courses and proof of fee payment for the first semester. After the request for funds have been submitted, please wait four to six weeks as the funds will be mailed to you. Typically, the funds will arrive sooner, but it's important that when you receive your funds that you spend it wisely. The deadline to claim awards is January 31st, 2025. If your circumstances are such that you, you're having issues or challenges, please contact your um, chairperson of your at your specific school to identify any concerns that you might have. The next two slides uh, highlight the frequently asked questions uh, from students regarding the uh, bursary scholarship uh, process. Perhaps the uh, I'd like you to give you some time to read them over and to um, ask any questions at the end of the presentation that you might have. Perhaps the question asked most often by students is how many courses am I required to be enrolled in to receive all of my award money? The answer is you need to be enrolled as a full-time student as defined by your post-secondary institution. That is a big change in our uh, requirements uh, from the past. Please review these additional frequently asked questions. And if you have any questions other than these, we will review them at the end of the presentation. The very best of success in the application process and your post-secondary pursuits moving forward. We would like to dedicate this year's scholarship bursary campaign to Mrs. Judy Howell, who passed away suddenly in June 2023. Judy was the foundation vice president and chairperson of the Penn High Selection Committee from 1998 to 2023. Her contributions to support Penticton grads over the past 25 years has been truly remarkable. I'm Mrs. Howell. Thank you for your attention to use that money wisely.